Hi there! My name is Pia. Welcome to my channel, Ramel Living. In today's video, I want to share something that changed my life in such a positive way. So I hope it can change yours too. <laughs> And today I want to talk about, like the title is saying, less is more and it's about minimalism. And I want to share with you a little bit of my personal story and how I turned to be and convert into a minimalist person uh, without even noticing. And when I start really noticing it, I start seeing so much benefits. So right now I am just loving this lifestyle started like i said without a conscious intention to do it but um it was when i started traveling about two years ago that i knew that if i wanted to travel the world i needed to get rid of the stuff that i was having and believe me i was a collective of stuff and uh, it was crazy guys because I bought a house that it was a huge house with four bedrooms, with a TV room, with a backyard which requires so much work. Can you imagine that my closet was occupied by two big closets of two different bedrooms of my house? So I was collecting and collecting things. When I had the idea that I just wanted to have a really simple life and just start traveling the world and invest my resources in that, I realized how much time and how much money I was investing in that moment in all of the stuff. And guys, when I started getting rid of these things in order to travel, I just felt liberated. So um, it was such an amazing sensation and now that it has been two years that I have been just traveling and living out of a suitcase, it made me realize how much freedom and how much happiness and joy I can get from a simple life. So in today's video, I want to explain to you like my biggest insight that I experienced after changing my life into minimalism or into less is more <laughs> to realize how much things were getting in my way of having the life that I was actually wanted to have why because uh, I was always with that constant thing that I need to pay the loan or I don't have money or I cannot go traveling and just leave everything here so when I start realizing that my dream was to go out and to have none attachments at all I realized that my biggest attachment was with my things so when I got rid of the things I realized the freedom I was having and how much I it was holding me back to have this life that right now I'm living how much time I was wasting in all of these things and it was crazy because I can see it for example in the clothes in the clothes every morning because I had so much options to pick on to um, I was putting one thing and then I dress with another thing and I, I couldn't even make my mind and I wasted so much precious minutes that I could be invested in other stuff like I don't know walking my dog or making breakfast or planning something or meditating or you know in quality time that I was wasting just trying to see which of all of the stuff I needed to pick up uh, from at the end I was collecting lots of things but I owned half of my things so I was just like um, working to pay all of these things and it made me create a big stress in every end of the month that I needed to pay for all of these things that supposedly was giving me security and when I got rid of all of these big loans and big stuff it made me realize that instead of taking away security 
on the other side it was bringing me lots of more security because now I can use all of the resources that I actually have right now to invest it in things that make me feel way more happier and calm and that it just bring you a different um, approach to life and a different security path but in this time is the security path of happiness and joyfulness instead of the things realize how much order and clean cleanness I could have and uh, I consider myself always like a messy person like that was one of my biggest struggles and I realized after just living out of a suitcase that when I had little things there's always order and they're always clean so it wasn't that I was a messy person it was that I had too much stuff to take care of so um, having less stuff and having just the, the actual things that I need not that I want but I actually just need um, make me realize that I have so much more order and I don't waste time looking for, for stuff I know where is exactly everything and it started giving me so much more peace of mind and it started giving me so much more order inside my mind to see the things that really make me feel happy and uh, at the end is the experiences not the things I was collecting and collecting things uh, thinking that that was gonna make me happiness if I was gonna wear that cute outfit or if I had that really great car or if I have my dream house I was gonna be happy and it made me realize that not at all I cannot be more happy than right now in my life where I have way less things and for me at least that experiences is right now traveling and not having a car which make me just walk everywhere and meet new people and be completely open to the experiences and to their hearts now I can actually choose where to invest my resources and it made me realize that the experiences of for example having a really nice meal in a restaurant or just travel around or pay for a course that I loved um, that of something new that I want to learn is way more worth it than any other stuff that I have bought in the past see how I start extrapolating this simple life in everything so like even my diet changed a lot I am eating way more simple kind of foods and my thoughts I am thinking way more simple thoughts and the way I see people and the way I approach to life I just want to choose simple things uncomplicated um, the attach <laughs> Um, so it's amazing how you can just small changes start extrapolating and you start having a way more simple kind of life you are more likely to live in gratitude in a gratitude state of mind and it's crazy because the less you have you want to really be thankful for all the, the things that you actually just make your life easier and all of the other stuff that you actually don't need it's making way more disturbance in your life so um, I think that the most important thing is that the minimalism or the simple life set you free and that is why I want to encourage you to start um, having a more simple way of life and what I love about this lifestyle is that there's no rules actually you can put your own rules if you want to call them that way it's not about a number of things it's just to start living in a much more conscious state of mind and just make realize 
yourself how much stuff you actually need and in what you want to invest your resources on. So with this video guys, I want to encourage you to remember that the happiness is a state of being and you can choose to be happy and you can choose to have the life that you want. So please don't use excuses as having to take care of a lot of stuff that that is gonna make you hold back to live in the life of your dreams. So I hope that you like the video. If you like it, please show some love. Do it thumbs up to this video so I know that you're liking these type of topics and I can make you more. Um, I want to invite you to see me in Ramel Living on Instagram or Facebook because I'm constantly doing live videos and showing you more tools of how to keep a more happy life. And I remember you that every Monday I upload a new video, so please subscribe if you're not already part of this big beautiful family. So, see you next week. Take care, have a beautiful week. Bye.